Hi, I'm Johnny. Welcome back to my Retro Food Series. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to make a beef wellington. Beef wellington, for me, it is home. It's Sunday, Sunday roast, potatoes, veg, we've got everything. It's spot on for me. All it is, fillet of beef, duck cell mushrooms, which is just garlic, shallots, mushrooms, wrapped around the fillet of beef. I'm actually going to wrap the beef in the prosciutto ham and then it's just covered in a puff pastry. So, so first job that we're going to do is we're going to fry off the mushrooms, the garlic shallots and I'm going to add a little bit of parsley at the end. So, so I've, got, I've got my pan hot, I've got, I'm going to put my mushrooms in, make sure obviously you can hear it. The thing to look out with mushrooms is they will soak up all of that oil. So make sure, if it's looking dry, maybe add a touch of butter, just to kind of loosen it up again. I'm just going to season. For all list of ingredients, have a look at the description box. And now, I need to add in the shallots and the garlic. All I've done is just add one clove of garlic and one shallot. Just finely chopped. Just give that a toss. Now we're going to leave that just to fry and, and colour. Whilst I've got this pan hot also, so we're trying to get a bit of a chefy brain, I've got my beef fillet. I'm going to season it. Salt and pepper. Got my pan. Got my pan raging. We want a good golden brown colour on the beef. So when it starts to cook, we've still got that nice caramelisation flavour. Keep an eye on your mushrooms. Give them a quick toss. I've got a bit of parsley here. I'm just going to scrunch it up, roll it together. I'm just going to run my knife quickly through it. That's lovely. Onto your hand. Get it in there. Again, quick toss. Then you won't even be able to look like I don't. So look, that's what we want all the way around. Turn it over. There's so many different elements and flavours and textures going on in the dish. We've got the mushrooms, we've got the beef, which is obviously standard. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to bring the beef wellington back from the 1970s into the future. I'm going to add a little bit of um, prosciutto of ham just to wrap round it. So they're done. Pour them into the bowl. Just leave them there. That's done. So I've got my beef nicely browned. If you just have a look, this is what we're looking for. And it will still be very, very squidgy, obviously, because it's ridiculously rare. So, that's done. So, this is the added twist. This is the prosciutto ham element. So just lay that out. Put it to one side. And then start to fold. Fold over, like that. Tuck that in. We're going to use puff pastry. Pre-bought is absolutely fine because no one has got hours to make puff pastry because it is not a nice job at all. So, it's so just plain flour. What we're going to do is we're going to roll it out. Just get yourself a rolling pin. This will probably get your kids to do it because they can all join in. And who doesn't really like, like making a mess? So, let's get it all over. Put a bit on the rolling pin. Pastry down and roll. As you're rolling, what we want and what we're looking for, we're not looking for it to be overly thin, but we're looking for it to be, I'd say around about three millimetres, four millimetres. What we're looking at, we need to start trimming it up because what, we don't want an, an excess of pastry. So I would say, have a look at your beef. So it's about that big. So we're going to we'll trim a bit off there. Quite important as to where you put the mushrooms. They can't just all go in the same place. Because if you think about the way you roll it, you don't just want it to be nice, nice, huge ball of mushrooms. So if you level it out nice and thinly, this can just go right there. And what we're going to do is we're just going to roll it nice and gently. So what, what you've got to make sure now now it's nice and rolled, is to seal it. So, pastry brush, touch of egg. Just 
seal it down, seal it in. Again, if we can, if we can trim some excess, what I've got is I've got my tray, grease proof on, put that on, make sure you egg wash because you want that golden colour and if you like these recipes just hit the subscribe to see more and I have an oven preheated at 180 so what I'm going to do is now this should take probably 8 to 10 minutes stick that into the oven so it's been in the oven 10 to 15 minutes I've taken it out and I've let it rest for 10 minutes it's important to rest it because when it's been in the oven it's all tight and it just needs to relax. Then that's when all the juices will go back inside and it'll be really moist and really soft. Also, whilst it was in the oven, I just blanched some veg and I'm going to reheat them in an emulsion. An emulsion is basically water, butter, salt and pepper. So, broccoli, green beans, a couple of, a couple of asparagus. Drop that in to some, into the hot emulsion. Beef wellington. Now it's time to carve. So, take it off the grease proof. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to trim off the end here, just to tidy it up, just so it doesn't look as untidy. And then I'm going to carve it right through the middle. So just open it up and look at that. Perfect. Who wouldn't want to eat that? Who would not want to eat that for the Sunday roast? So, drain the veg, now that it's hot. There's no messing about, not fancy. Straight on the side, for me, beef wellington, veg, do a side of roasties, perfect Sunday lunch.